Hey guys, today we're playing a very important country in Hearts of Iron 4 that you don't usually see in Hearts of Iron 4, and that is Wales. In vanilla and in most of mods, it's not a country that you can really play as. It doesn't usually have core states or anything. But in this mod, TNO, it does exist as its own little independent nation here. So we are going to play as Wales, and we're going to do the miracle victory path for them. Some have said that this path is impossible, but it, I think it is possible. And you might be asking, what is this miracle victory path? Well, in TNO, England here will eventually try to unify Britain, and by doing that, they have to get us and Scotland to submit to them, which today we won't be doing. We have this ferocious dragon on our flag, we'll fight to the death. Right now, though, we start off more independent than Britain, because Britain is in a faction with Germany. And even though it's not directly their subject, is in all but name a subject of them. But yes, as Wales though, despite being small and seemingly insignificant, we do have our own focus tree. So we'll do a free Wales focus, proclaim our right to be independent from England, and we'll begin building an army. This is going to be difficult because it's going to be us versus a power much greater than ourselves. We also can focus on our economy, though I don't know if we really care. I'm going to switch all of our civilian factories to military factories, because you can't actually make civilian factories with civilian factories in TNO, so it's not too important to have civilian factories, especially if you only have one. I don't even know what we can really make with only three military factories. Tanks are kind of impossible. Wait, and we can't actually make other division templates? This isn't good. There has to be another way for us to make divisions, though, I'm sure. Otherwise, this might be even more difficult than I thought, but if we have to take on England with only three divisions, we'll take on England with only three divisions. Let's get down to business. Yeah, to defeat the Brits. Well, I guess we are British. To defeat the English, I guess. But it doesn't sound as good. I don't know. I'm already scared for what's going to happen here. The tragedy in Wales. Okay, we got an event, and we did the decision that gave the army the most funding possible because if we don't survive against England, nothing else matters. I think now we can train divisions. Yeah, we have this reservist division. <laughs> That's a really bad division. Ideally, we get a few more infantry in here. I guess I'll just update it right now, and artillery, and we will get an engineer company too for defense because we're most likely going to be on defense for a while. We'll need a lot more equipment to sustain this, but we're going to have a strong army. Okay, we just caught maybe 50 events. There's protests, there's counter protests, there's police. They were trying to get us to bring the army in, but I didn't. This is a dark moment for our nation. I wasn't really paying too much attention. I thought we were just passing an education bill from the death depths of the coal mine, several worrying rumors have surfaced. Very spooky. I'll investigate the mine. If it is good enough for President Nixon, it is good enough for us. Don't start making tapes. You know, maybe this is the Nixon way. Faultifying statistics, burning the reports, cover up the findings by silence. Okay, I understand. Oh, never mind. Someone found the tapes. It's all over. We at least have our third military factory, as long as we don't lose our third military factory. Okay, things are better now. <laughs> We're led by a building, which is always good. The Welsh Assembly. I think things are going to be better now. We're on the right track. Is that all our story is? A short story about the coal miners and a cover-up? And here we are. An actual leader and a focus tree. Don't know if there's much military stuff, but maybe we'll be able to accomplish something. This is beautiful dragon focus. I do love it. The flag is amazing. An English civil war has begun. We're not able to to intervene in this though, otherwise we would probably win easily. We just have to wait for this to resolve and for them to attack us. I'm very nervous. I think it's going to be a few more years though, or at least a while. Oh no, it's Thatcher. I think there's a very, very strong chance that England attacks us. But we're making a very strong army. Hopefully we'll be able to get another artillery battalion in this division, and I think we should be set. Maybe even anti-air. It depends how fast they attack us. If we have two 
two more years we can get the anti-air one more year we can probably get the extra artillery we'll see what happens yeah now we can do our thing antagonize the english yes perfect bad thing though our economy is dead i don't know what to do all of our focuses and all of our decisions increase debt so i guess we should just stop doing decisions i'm really not sure what we're supposed to do here our gdp has increased a lot but we can't increase it anymore just because if we get to 140 percent to debt then we go over our debt ceiling we just need to win this war against england and then party or something steal all their money to pay off our debt okay um yeah the crisis has started we're not doing so well with managing our economy we maybe made our military a little bit too big you know we don't really need research and we can probably cut a lot of this other stuff too yeah just not the military because if we cut the military spending we're going to die okay we keep going in and out of economic crises but this is it england is finally justifying war against us i'm excited we're going to ruin our economy even more maximizing army expenditures okay well they haven't declared full-on war against us but they're losing a border war against us yeah that really didn't go well for them is it gonna escalate or or was that it if that's all that happens i'm gonna be kind of disappointed okay this is what i like to see this is very good and we both have bad national um spirits that affect our army so i feel like we're pretty even in terms of that but i think our military has been put together a bit better than theirs their divisions are what we call not very good we'll last stand here and we should hold the port and these two divisions will get encircled right now england has lost 35k to our 9k okay this is good we encircled the divisions down there and a few more up here and they don't really have too many divisions on their front line but i did some scouting with my navy and they have divisions on all of their ports and some of the coastal tiles too so they have a lot of divisions they just don't have those divisions on the front line right now see like there's one in liverpool we're going to have to be careful with when we advance though because we're about out of manpower here Okay, and two more divisions overrun in Liverpool. We've taken out a lot of their divisions now. It looks like we can also get a encirclement down here in Cornwall. And they have two more divisions down here. They do have a port, so it's not a real encirclement yet. But we can easily push them out of these ports and probably take out those divisions too. Yeah, see, there they are. It looks like they were smart and moved at least some of them off the port. And look, finally, our GDP and our debt have massively improved. Yeah, I guess that's what happened when you start taking over all this English industry. I don't think the game will let us keep it forever, unfortunately. I guess we could technically just keep this war going on indefinitely to make a lot of money. And there, the Kingdom of England's attempts to bring down the Red Dragon has met failure. Wales defeats England. The lights have truly gone out in Europe as Wales has managed to defeat the much larger and stronger England. And what many military leaders are shaking their heads at and calling an absolute fluke in the universe that trends sends any logic. Wales should have lost the war if any theoretical scenario believes the universe operates on a strict set of rules and equations by most accounts, and yet they now stand over the vanquished England. One shudders to think of the horrific fate of those who cower in fear as Welsh troops march up Whitehall, but others believe this is cosmic justice for all the sins that England has committed in the past, and the occupation is merely their penance. Still, some believe Wales has made a deal with supernatural and malevolent forces and are calling for a crusade to be mounted against them as soon as possible. Yea, this is what I always wanted. Look at that economy. Finally, everything is fixed. What a beautiful day. I really do hope this occupation can go on as long as possible just so we can recover economically. Anyways, I can assure you all that as Wales, we will make sure that the English don't make an empire and take over the world ever again. Everything's going to be fine. Scotland and Ireland are safe. I think the world can find finally rest. Well, maybe once this other giant empire falls, but that might take a while. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Glory to Wales. See you all next time.